Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a trigonometric equation with complex numbers. So we have cosine of z minus i times sine of z equals e and we're going to be solving for z values. And I'll be presenting two approaches. So let's start with the first one. Hopefully you do know Euler's formula which is e to the power i theta equals cosine theta plus i sine theta. If you replace theta with negative theta, you get cosine theta minus i sine theta, which is the conjugate as well as the reciprocal because cosine is even and sine is odd. Make sense? So we have these two equations. How can we use them? If you look at our expression carefully, you're going to realize that, okay, it's like cosine theta minus i sine theta. Now, does theta have to be real? Can it be complex? Absolutely. Some people say that, oh, this needs to be real. No, there is no condition that says that as far as I know. Correct me if I'm wrong. So here's what we're going to do then. With the first approach, we're going to go ahead and use the second equation, right? And write this cosine z, because that's what I have, minus i sine z as e to the power negative i z, based on the formula, right? But we also know that this is equal to e. So now we get negative i z equals 1, because this is e to the first power, right? And then divide both sides by negative i, or multiply both sides by i, you're going to get z equals i. Case closed, that's it. We can go home. No. Even though this is one of the solutions, this is not the whole story. There's definitely more to it than just this one. So, here's what we're going to do. e to the power negative iz equals e. And now, I can do something that I just did in my other video that I did for the other channel, the main one, CyberMath. And it will be multiplying both sides or one side, doesn't matter. In this case, we're only going to multiply the right-hand side by 1, which is e to the power 2 pi and i. Right? By the way, sometimes people are say, hey, is this cyber math? Yes, it is. Anyways, so now we have the exponents, so we can add them. e to the negative i z equals e to the power 1 plus 2 pi and i. And when you natural log both sides, you're going to get negative i z equals 1 plus 2 pi and i. Yes, with our quick shortcut, we got z equals i. In this case, if you replace n with 0, you get that solution. It's just one of the solutions. There are infinitely many. For each value of z, you're going to get a different solution. But let's go ahead and divide everything by negative i first, or multiply everything by i. That's going to give you i minus 2 pi n, right? Wait, n is an integer, but can I just turn it into a plus sign like 2 pi k? Yeah, you can do that as long as k is an integer and k is equal to negative n. doesn't matter which variable you use, but I like this better because of the plus sign. Make sense? It's more positive. And obviously, if k is equal to 0, we get z equals i as before. If k is equal to 1, we get z equals i plus 2 pi, which means 2 pi in this case is the period, right? Awesome. Let's go ahead and check our work. What if we made a mistake, right? Well, hopefully not, but let's still check our work. Checking work is always a good idea, right? Cosine z minus i sine z is equal to e to the negative i z. Okay, so what are we supposed to do? Well, actually, you shouldn't write that, so maybe I should just do, well, We'll get there anyways, so I guess I could. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace z with i, because remember, z equals i is a solution, so it should satisfy the original problem. If you replace z with i, you get cosine of i minus i times sine of i, which is e to the power negative i times i, which is e to the power negative i squared, but i squared is negative 1, therefore this is i to the power 1, and the answer is e the Euler's number, or Euler's number, whatever you want to call that, but that would be the answer. In other words, our solution checks, check, 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 check mark, right? Because this was supposed to equal e, 
and actually i satisfies now would i plus 2 pi also satisfy it yes because think about it cosine of any angle plus 2 pi is the cosine of that angle because making one full rotation is going to bring you to the same point on the unit circle where is i though well don't worry about it it's kind of confusing right but adding 2 pi is not going to make a difference so we can add it make sense so far so good if you are ready we can move on with the second method all right second method here we go now we have an equation cosine z minus i sine z equals e we have formulas for cosine of sine right i mean they come from euler's formula pretty much the same thing but just presented a little differently so cosine z can be written as e to the iz plus e to the negative iz divided by two and sine z can be represented as e to the iz minus e to the negative iz divided by 2i now these are really nice because whenever you have the cosine of a complex number you can't really evaluate it like well what is cosine of 3 plus 4i but this formula allows you to do it or whenever there's a question like cosine z is equal to 2i how would you find the z are cosine 2i don't tell me that because that's kind of like a cheap solution it's kind of cheating anyways so those are the cosine and sine values. Let's go ahead and plug them in and see what happens. e to the iz plus e to the negative iz divided by 2 minus i times sine z, which is e to the iz minus, don't forget, sine has a minus sine, sine has a minus sine divided by 2i. And i cancels out. i cancel out? No. i cancel the i out. Okay, now i is gone. And now we have a common denominator. How nice. And this is supposed to equal what? E. Awesome. A lot of E's. Now, since we have a common denominator, we can just go ahead and combine them. E to the IZ, E to the negative IZ, minus E to the IZ, minus minus plus sign, double negation, divided by 2 equals E. I could probably just multiply by 2. That would give me 2I, right? Let's just skip that step because, I mean, 2E. 2e or not 2e you guys know the drill right and now we can go ahead and simplify these two i have two of the same thing kind of like twice cross out the twos you end up with e to the negative iz equals e to the power one times e to the power two pi and i and that brings us to the end of this video but first it brings us to the solution right so we can kind of write it as i plus two pi k 2 pi not 2 pi ki just 2 pi k and this really brings us to the end of the video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye